Welcome to today's video. So today I am going to be sharing some dyes. I'm so happy to be back crafting and creating videos. This is my happy place and I just, I'm so glad to be back. So we are going to be working on a little series. I always like to share um, how to put these dies together, how to use them in different ways. You wanna get your best bang for your buck, right? So I have three dies that I want to share with you today. We've got this first one right here. This is called the Fringed Heart Bundle and it creates the cutest little embellishment, you guys. Look at this. So this reminds me of the Crate Paper uh, heart embellishments and it's super easy to put together you cut it out four times you trim it and I'll share how to do that and then I just added the little stitch because on those crepe paper ones they actually had the, the little stitch at the top also so I just um, mimicked everything they did I scrap lifted um, and it comes with three different sizes you can even create just a plain heart embellishment has some stitch detail on it these are great for valentine's crafting but basically year round right um and then i'm thinking that you can probably create little shakers also using these three dies right here uh these over here are going to have a little fringe to it so you probably can't use these for that but i'm thinking you can for these then i also want to share with you how i put together this little banner right here this is the valentine banner it's so stinking cute you guys look at it right here look how cute that is isn't that so adorable? It's the perfect size for embellishing. It's really great. And then this is my favorite right here, you guys. This one is the Armoire Tag Die Set. And it is just amazing. It only comes with three pieces. It's meant to create a tag. Uh, I created a box with mine and I saw that a lot of other crafters uh, did the same. Um, and everybody's is so different. So it's so fun to see how that worked out. Um, but today I'll be sharing with you how I created mine and it's super fast and easy. I'll share measurements and all the things. So let's get right to it. So we're gonna start with the armoire and we'll move down to the smaller pieces. Let me move these out of the way. Okay, so to create this box, it's really simple. You're gonna cut out your two tags. I sandwiched some chipboard in between and then I backed it with some black cardstock because I wanted it to kind of disappear. This middle piece, I don't want it to be very visible and I feel like when you do it with the black, it kind of just looks like a shadow piece and just the design paper is visible. I am using a digital paper collection so I don't have a lot of paper. Um, so I decided that the black is what worked best for me, but absolutely you can use, you know, if you have enough design paper, you can use it on all of this, okay? So I cut this out three times, the tag. I used my design paper, my then chipboard and then I backed it with the black, right? And then now I'm gonna share with you the measurements for the box. This is what the box looks like inside, okay? It opens up just like this, super easy. So let me give you those measurements. You're gonna need to cut out two pieces of paper that measure five by nine, okay? And then on the nine inch side, you're gonna score this at one and at eight. And basically you're giving yourself a one inch uh, tab, right? And then on the five inch side, you're gonna score this at one and at four, okay? And that's what this is gonna look like right there. I, you can kind of see the creases right there, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is I am going to cut this right here on this score mark, just like that. And I'm gonna create my tabs. I'm gonna cut a little pizza slice off. Same thing on this side. And I wanna cut the little pizza slice off of this little square right here, not this longer one, okay? So I'm gonna cut that little pizza slice off right there. See what I mean? So this piece is still intact. Um, I didn't cut anything off of this middle piece right here. I'm using this for my, for my tabs. And then what I'm gonna do is trim that piece off also, okay? I'll do the same on this side. Just like that this is what you're left with and we'll do it all over again here I'm gonna cut right on that score mark take the little pizza slice off of my tab turn this around and create my tab okay again right at the score mark pizza slice off the tab and we'll trim this piece off just like that just a thin little piece doesn't have to be too much okay and this is what we're left with and again, you'll need two of these pieces. So for your bottom piece, you're just gonna glue it. You're gonna glue your tabs right to the inside to this large piece right here, okay? And just match it up right up to the edge so you can have a crisp, clean edge right here, okay? And then what we're gonna do with the second piece, 
we are going to use our bottom box to guide us on where we adhere and close this box off, okay? So we have these pieces here. I'm just folding on those score marks. Just like so. So what I wanna do here is put the bottom piece that's already glued together inside our top piece, okay? And then this is how we're gonna adhere these pieces and ensure that our lid is gonna fit, okay? I'm just gonna add some glue right here. Let me use my hot glue gun, just so it'll be faster, okay? Just like that. We'll do the same to this side. And I'm using the table to hold the bottom pieces in place. Okay, I'm using my desk for that. Just like that. Okay, so we have those two pieces. Now we're gonna do the other side. And it helps to have that bottom box piece inside so that you can ensure that it's gonna fit properly, okay? Just like so. We'll do the same on this side. And that's it, you guys. That is it for your box. It's that easy, just like that. And then you have your two pieces and you know that your bottom piece fits perfectly into that top piece. Is right here where I'm grabbing it. That's where I wanna do some little punches, just like so. And then I'll do it over here as well. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You can absolutely measure this if you'd like but I just kind of eyeball it. <laughs> just kind of put my hands on there and go with that. And then what that ensures is that it's just easier to lift, okay? And I did that on mine as well, right here. You can barely see it because it's black. Where is it? Right there. <laughs> I'm like, where is it? Um, see, there you go. So I did it on both sides, just like that, okay? Now I'm gonna give you the little measurement to create these little shelves. I only put two in here, but certainly you can put more than two. I think it's super cute. I think it would be so cute to be able to put some little embellishments in like this. This little bag topper is too big, but um, let's see. We could add, I have all of these embellishments that my friend Ari sent me last year when we did a Valentine swap, and they are just gorgeous. Look how gorgeous these bag toppers are. So you can just stick your little bag toppers in there, and then she also sent me these gorgeous bows. And you can stick some little bows in here. Look how cute that is. These might be too, oh no, they're perfect. Look how cute that is to send a little Valentine's kit to one of your Galentines. Look at how adorable that is. I love it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is create the shelf for inside, okay? And you're going to need a piece of paper that measures four by two and a half, okay? Four by two and a half. And move this out of the way. on the two and a half side, you're going to score this at a quarter inch and at half an inch at one and three eighths and at one and five eighths, one and three eighths, one and five eighths. And then on the four inch side, you're going to score this at one and a quarter, half, three and a half, three and a half, and three and, what is my measurement? Three and three fourths, three and three fourths, okay? And you'll have all these score marks and lines. Let me fold on them so that you can see what they look like. So we have all of our score marks here. You see that? We're gonna cut off this little rectangle. So I'm gonna go up on my score mark and cut that off. And then we're gonna cut off this little square. Score mark or score line, cut it off, okay? And that's what you're gonna be left with. We're gonna do the same on this side. We're gonna cut off that square. And you need to be a little better than I am. <laughs> you wanna cut it straight, cause then it's not gonna uh, fold properly. Okay, and then we're gonna cut off this rectangle right here. This is what your paper should look like. And then you'll add your glue to this. I never use hot glue for this kind of stuff because I like to allow myself room for error. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're gonna fold this over just like that. 
and you're starting to see your little shelf you just tuck this in you can miter the edges um, if needed or you can just leave it okay let's see let me miter mine a little bit just create a little tab I'm just gonna thin them out a little bit so they fit better inside oh my goodness add some glue tuck her in you guys this is why I can't use hot glue <laughs> right there look at how that stuck to me I don't know why but this glue does not when the glue from this glue gun does not uh, it's not hot it doesn't burn me so I don't know I love this glue a lot this glue gun it's so stinking cute and it's amazing okay and then close that off and that's our shelf okay so if you want to do it exactly like I did mine I created two of these so you'll need two of these but you can create more or less uh, it's really up to you it depends on how many shelves you want in yours what I did is where these tabs are on the inside I took my little shelf I made sure that this fold piece right here was facing down because you want a nice clean edge right and I put it right where those tabs are and what that does is it hides those tabs and it just gives you a nice clean finish. Um, and so what I did is I took glue and I added it to all the sides. Let me just do this because <laughs> it's gonna take forever to get that. Okay, I added it to all the sides and I just lined it up to that tab on both sides, okay. Give it a good press. You need to make sure it's lined up properly. Like here, you can see that it's not. <laughs> but yeah, just make sure it's lined up properly. And like I said, I did two of these, okay? One here and one here to hide those tabs. And that's it. That is your box. Then you take your tag that you cut out and you attach it to your box. And then what I did is I just eyeballed it and attached the back piece, <laughs> if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So yeah, you just take your two tags and line it up where you want it you can also do little measurements like maybe score where you want to place your box to make sure that they're in the exact same place because you want it to be able to stand up so you do want to take your time when you're adding your tags to this i added chipboard in between because see these little pieces they're very thin and i wanted it to be able to stand so that's why i sandwiched the chipboard in between there i hope that all makes sense for you it's super easy to create right super super easy and just so many options with this with this um, die set. You can make a little mini album, a little tag, a slimline card, different styles of closets. You know, you can open these, leave these drawers open. It has these two little drawers down here. It's just a really great, really great piece. Okay, so that is our measurements for our armoire. And then really quickly, I wanted to share with you this tag die set right here. These are the pieces that come with this. I shared it with you at the top of the video. So I wanted to share with you how I put this together, okay? So again, my thin chipboard. I love this size chipboard. And you know what? I'm gonna see if I have it on my Amazon storefront so that you can check it out because I'm sure you're gonna want some. Let me just poke a hole. So you just add your glue to your pieces and add your base piece right just like that making sure to line it up as best you can okay and then what you're going to do it comes with all these pieces right all these layering pieces which is so stinking cute you guys so i'm going to take my first piece i've got my little banner piece put together right there right then I'm going to take these three, look how cute those are, and I'm get, going to curl up the edges just a little bit, okay, not too much. Don't, don't uh, press too hard because it'll tear. And then I'll add a little bit of glue and we'll add it to the first piece right here, just like that. We'll do the same to this. Of course, when you're doing yours, make sure you take your time. 
I'm just going to do it quickly for the sake of this video since I'm sharing so many dies. I haven't been on in forever, you guys, so we got to get it all in. <laughs> we got to get it all in. Okay, and that's going to go in here. And what this does is just give it like a little 3D effect. It just makes it super cute. Okay, and you don't have to do a lot of layering when you do this. So then I'm going to take these three little pieces and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to curl up on those little edges and glue them on. So we'll do the first one together and then we'll speed through the next. And it's the same thing. Take your glue and fit it right into those little lines that are on there for you to guide yourself. And then see how that looks. It just gives it a little 3D effect. I think that's so cute. Look at that. I don't know if you can get a clear view of how it kind of just curves up. I think it's adorable. We're going to do the same thing with the bows. So we're going to curl the bow tails up just a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to add some glue to the center. And... We're going to glue her on here and then we'll do a little curve, a little bend and snap <laughs> to that boat. And then you have the option of adding this little bow center that cuts out or a heart. You can do a little circle, which looks like this, or you can do a little heart that looks like this. You can also use these little hearts to embellish your little banner right here. I think that's what I'm going to do today. So let me put those on here and then I'll come back and show you the finished product. Okay, so this is the finished banner. You can kind of see where those hearts are. Look how stinking cute that is, you guys, and it's just in white. And then you still have these little itty bitty bows that you can put on your banner or in between the little pennants. Um, and what I did is I used a little charm. Let me see if I can share this. I used the little heart right there. I used little alphas to do I heart you. And then in between the little banners, I hung a little charm and I think that looks so stinking cute. And on the bows, I used a little bead to embellish that super cute super easy and just a lot of cute detail to it that's going to add a lot to your project okay so that's the little valentine banner and then i wanted to show you how to put this these together these are the fringed hearts right so for the fringed heart i cut again a chipboard piece a solid piece and then i cut four of these fringed hearts to layer up my heart right See how we have one, two, three, four pieces, okay? Your chipboard and put it on the bottom. Then you're gonna put your solid piece and then you're going to adhere your bottom piece, okay? Just like that. Now, what I want to see is, I want to see if we glue these other pieces. I didn't do this to mine, but I'm gonna try it here. If we glue them here, if we can use those fringes, because when I cut mine, I wasn't able to save the fringes. They just cut into a whole bunch of little pieces, you guys. And so I want to see if we layer them, if when we trim it, if they're layered and we trim it, if we can save those little pieces, okay? So I'm going to back each one of these onto a solid piece. Okay, I took my top piece. We're going to take this piece and then just trim it just a little bit. Let's see if that is where I want to trim it. No. That's too short. Oh, I did it this way. I'm like, how did I do it? Okay, I trimmed it this way. Okay, this is going to be, I'm just lining it up here. Oops. Okay. That's for our top piece. Ooh, it did work. It did work, you guys, because then these pieces you can use. Okay, good. So, yes, that's what I'm going to recommend, that you back them. You back the fringe piece so that you can use this on another on another heart if that makes sense otherwise you won't be able to because they cut up into little pieces itty bitty little pieces okay now we're going to trim this we'll line that up right there and this up right there hopefully it'll be correct <laughs> let's see how this works out for us okay 
Okay, there we go. <gasps> no, see how the little pieces? Because I didn't glue them properly. So that's okay because then I can show you how they cut off. If you don't glue them properly, then they're just a whole bunch of little fry pieces that you can't use. But if you glue it properly, then you can use them on another, on another heart, if that makes sense. Okay, that's okay. We're going, we're going. And then this would be on here. Okay, and then we have one more. And this one, we're gonna just trim off right here. Right there, right there, no. Right there. We're gonna do that. And, okay, hopefully that's straight. I just eyeballed these, you guys. <laughs> and then, did this glue? Oh, it did. So see, then you can use these pieces to layer, if that makes sense. You can still go back and use these pieces, okay? So right now we're using the top pieces. And that is how we're going to create our heart. You can't, you can barely see because I'm using all white paper. Oh, maybe I should turn it around. Yeah, there you go. But then you can't see the fringe. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's been a while, guys. These videos uh, aren't as easy as they seem. Okay, it's been a while. We're a little rusty, but here we are. So, yes, that is my tip for you with these fringed hearts. Make sure that you glue them and back them on there so that the piece that you're cutting off, you can go back and create another heart. You know, it won't be just a waste of paper. You can actually go back and create another heart with it. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps you guys out. I'm super excited to be crafting again. Thank you so much. If you stuck through all of this, thank you so much. Okay, so on those, one more thing, on those uh, uh, those uh, crepe paper, the uh, the ones I've seen are the Maggie Home Bloom, but I think they did them in a Valentine's paper collection as well. Anyway, they stitched through them. I'll insert a picture here so you can see which ones I'm talking about. They added a little stitch through them, so I did two, and I think it's so stinking cute. And then you can create these for, um, let's say, a swap partner and leave them just like this so that they can embellish them however they'd like, or you can create them for your own embellishments and then you know, layer up some cute little pieces on here, chipboard pieces or maybe little flowers, a sentiment. That would be really cute. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for sticking with us. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. So, yeah, thank you so much for stopping by today. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.